guys welcome back to my channel my name is alana if you're new here i am filming um a few days in my life some other baby nurse i've been off all week like i said in my last video i just uploaded today go watch my last video if you haven't seen it i literally only have 37 minutes on this sd card so i definitely have to go get a new one tomorrow but today's thursday it's like five o'clock i have been so lazy today it's 508 I've literally been so freaking lazy today. A nap, all that type of stuff. In and out of sleep, just straight up chilling. I woke up at like noon <laughs> and then I took a nap like all day. But the kids are with my mom. Um, they went to the mall to go play at the little play, little jungle gym thing inside the mall. I get up and go to the gym here soon. But uh, me and my sister have been going together and she sleep so i don't want to like not go with her so i'll wait a little bit and then probably go to the gym i've been to the gym the past three days so so proud of myself nice to have somebody else that's like you know trying to work on their fitness and stuff so you guys can go together and you have like a little buddy but this video is just like i said gonna be um a few days i might like take it throughout the weekend because sunday is easter and i work the next two days i work friday saturday and then sunday's easter so i might just like do these next couple days yeah welcome to the video the gym here in a little bit and then cook dinner i made some really good salmon and mashed potatoes yesterday like it was so freaking good but i'm gonna like bake some chicken wings today rice and broccoli that's all i'm gonna be doing today so like i said welcome to the video um, i'm just gonna chill here on my ipad for a little bit and then up and be productive at some point so i will catch you guys a little bit later okay. So I'm just about to get up and go to the gym because it's 5.30 and I started this new medication today and I'm so nauseous. But if I sit here, I'm just going to think about me being nauseous. So I need to just get up, go to the gym, come home, fold clothes, like be productive. So that way my mind isn't on the fact that I'm like so nauseous right now. One thing that I like to do before my shifts is do laundry. Obviously you need scrubs. So I need to, I'll like wash my sheets and stuff because who doesn't want to come home? after a long 12 hour shift and coming like a fresh bed so i'm just gonna get up and go to the gym and unfortunately i might have to go without my sister because i can't wait and yeah i just i, I need to get this over with this is my last gym day for the week so i don't want to skip out on it so let's just go grab my phone get my stuff and put on my workout clothes maybe you know let some sun in here i did have the blinds open but it was like so hot so warm so i had to close them but anyways i'm rambling so <sighs> let's go get a workout in okay look at this laundry i have to fold this should be illegal but now i'm like spiraling so now i pulled all my clothes out of my dresser and i'm gonna go through it when i get back from the gym it's it's literally like that for me either i'm so freaking lazy or i'm so productive and i have to do everything so we're gonna tackle this when we get home because i've really been wanting to do it but it just seems like such a daunting task but i'm like you know what i'm on this weight loss journey i need to just get rid of the clothes that i can't fit or put them in like a bin so maybe down the line i can fit them again like you know i need to do all that stuff just do a little spring cleaning and if I can accomplish the clothes today, I'll be perfectly fine. You don't even want to see my closet. It's atrocious. But we're going to take it one step at a time. So now I'm dressed and we're going to go to the gym and we're going to do some cardio for an hour. We're going to come home. We're going to clean this. I need to take my hair down. I don't know why I was being so lazy today and I had so many things I wanted to do. But anyways, you can always be productive. It doesn't matter what time of the day it is. So let's go. Okay, let's make my pre-workout. I need water. Yeah. So, I've been back on taking OxyShred. I tell you, I literally been, like, I don't think I've ever sweat more than when I take this. Like, this is definitely a game changer. So, this is like my favorite flavor. It's the kiwi, the, what is it? Kiwi strawberry. So we're just gonna do that and then side note these protein bars are so freaking good like i said i am 
I don't know if you guys want me to talk about it or anything like that, but I'm definitely in a huge shift of my weight loss journey and I don't um like I don't want to influence anybody to do something that like they don't want to do or take supplements that they don't want to take like if you don't like pre-workout or you don't like taking like um supplements for like appetite suppressant or getting on medication or anything like that you definitely don't have to um it's just that I have been trying to lose weight <laughs> for years like I I actually would say that I've been trying to lose weight since after I had Kylie body completely changed over this last year and so seeing it on camera and seeing it in person and just in the clothes like you don't really notice the things that you're doing until it's like a span over time and you're like oh my god like why can't i fit these jeans or oh my gosh like i looked so much smaller a year ago or two years ago or whatever so i'm just and i'm trying to do it just for like my confidence you don't have to look a certain way you don't have to be a certain you know weigh a certain amount you don't have to be like super skinny no i'm not saying any of that i'm just saying that i just want to feel confident in like the clothes that I'm wearing and when I'm looking at myself in the mirror like when I'm taking pictures like I used to take pictures all the time selfies pictures anything like that I don't think I've taken like an actual fucking picture of like my body and clothes and probably like over a year I don't like that and I want to change it and I want to change it I eat pretty healthy um I don't eat like you know a lot of fast foods or anything like that but i also don't want to restrict my body on the stuff like if i'm craving a cheeseburger i want to eat a cheeseburger and that's exactly what i'm going to do but 80 percent of the time i can be you know put my best self forward and eat whole foods like cook pretty much all my meals at home which i do eat three meals a day you know tr maybe don't snack on like chips and maybe snack on like fruit even though these actually are pretty good in calorie obviously they're processed chips but it's 160 calories for two and one fourth cup if you portion out your food it won't be an over consumption so you won't eat over you know the serving size to be a lifestyle change i don't want this to be something like oh i'm trying to get you know hot girl summer body whatever no i want this to be a lifestyle change something that i can do for years pretty much you know my whole life and you're not going to, I'm not going to sit there and count my calories my entire life. I'm not going to do that because you're going to have a day where you mess up. When you go on vacation, when you hang out with friends, when you not feeling the best mentally or physically or whatever, you're going to backtrack and I don't want to like self-sabotage if you can understand. Like I'm like an all or nothing type of person so I don't want to cut anything out of my diet 100%. I don't want to stop doing something 100% because that to me creates room for error so with that being said like i i haven't talked about it I've, I've i've talked about it briefly that i you know was in this weight loss journey and like my weight and i've never gone like deep into it and honestly it's a sensitive topic for me um but you never know who you can help so with that being said we're gonna go to the gym we're gonna run on the treadmill and then we're gonna come back and be a little bit productive It comes. You understand I can't take it everywhere I nigga going I've been in the field like the children on the corn I can hear the tears when they drop over the phone Get mad at yourself cause you can't leave me alone Got some shit missing, it ain't what we doing Traveling around the world Over the phone dropping tears I get my bonnet when I get through When you drunk you tell me exactly how you feel Okay, so all I have left is to hang these Lululemon jackets up, but I got rid of the pile and then I fixed my drawers a little bit. It's all a work in progress, but got pajamas and then workout shirts, workout pants, uh, t-shirts, and then like underwear and stuff. I want to eventually get rid of this, so I have to go through all of that, but I am exhausted. It is, I don't know what time it is, what time is it? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. 10 o'clock it's 10 o'clock i'm about to relax chill maybe read my book and i will see you guys in the morning i sit on my balcony and wonder how you feel it i got a 
career that takes my time away from women. I cannot convince you that I love you for a living. I be on your line, feelings flowing like a river. You be texting back, you and Kiki on the river. Message say deliver, but I know that y'all don't get it. Why you introduce us if you knew that you was with him? Made me shake his hand. Hey guys, it's Friday. 11.52, I am about to go into my lash appointment. I took my hair down, I washed it this morning. Um, I gotta figure out what to do with it. I, for some reason, like I knew Easter was this Sunday, but like it didn't click. And then I think the fact that I have to work today and tomorrow is just like, okay, whatever. But I gotta figure out what to do like with my hair, what I'm gonna wear for Easter, like all that jazz. So honestly, we're not doing anything crazy, just hanging out with family. So I think I'm going to go to Target and get like this like jogging suit type of thing. Like my sister has one. It's really cute. Um, so I'm going to see if they have that. If not, I'm sure I have something to wear. I don't really get too fancy because like I said, we're just hanging out with family. But you still want to look nice and put together. So for my lash appointment, I am going to either get some Chick-fil-A or some Subway. And then I'm going to go home and cook my dinner for tonight. I just have a rotisserie chicken. I'm just going to make like a chicken taco bowl. So I'm gonna cook my dinner, pack my lunch, my book a little bit more because I read, you guys saw I read a little bit of it this morning and it's getting really good. So um, I just wanna relax. This is what I like to do before my two shifts is if I have an appointment, I'll go to that appointment, cook my dinner. If I need to like throw my scrubs in the laundry, which I usually try to do that like earlier in the week or a few days before my shift, just so I don't have to worry about it. So like wash my clothes, pack my bag, you know, pack my lunch, make sure everything is copacetic and then i'll take a nap so like a little bit of a longer nap but then i thought like last night i had the worst anxiety i don't know why like this is my first this is going to be my first shift by myself off orientation and i just have the worst fucking anxiety i don't know like i've never had this bad anxiety about this job and i love it and i pray for it and i'm super blessed but i'm just like i don't want to go i don't want to go like i don't know why i was so like i to the point where like i literally woke up every hour i did get some decent sleep but like it was to the point where i woke up every hour it was not good so hopefully i can get a good nap in but i'm going to go in here because my appointment is in five minutes i do need to go to target to get a new sd card try to make it back home by like 2 30 at the latest so we'll see Ashes are done. They look gorgeous. Now, I think I'm gonna go get something to eat and then I need to stop at Myers. I'm going to get some Chick fil A, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I want Chick-fil-A or if I want Subway. So I guess it really doesn't matter. I need to stop at Myers to get an SD card. And I think maybe like a few more things for Kylie for her Easter basket. Because I think I got everything for CJ. And then when I went to Target, they didn't have anything for Kylie. So let's go do that really quick. We're making great time. It's 1243. She's so quick and so efficient and it always looks great. So I love her. Um, but let's go run these errands so we can go back home. I'm filming this on my phone because I left my camera upstairs and I have to change the SD card. But such an easy lunch. Just rotisserie chicken, bell peppers, onions. You can put in whatever veggies you want. Cook it, put some taco seasoning on there. And that's like the perfect like healthy taco bowl. And then we have this little crazy boy. <laughs> good morning guys it's six o'clock i am so exhausted like 
I'm so tired. <laughs> so I definitely need to make me some coffee today. And I have like this weird like heartburn. So I think I just need to drink more water. But we're gonna get through this shift. I'm about to get ready because like I said, it's six o'clock and I like to leave around like 6.20, especially because it was, it was so busy today on the roads because it's Good Friday. So everybody's out. So I'm just about to do my makeup and then get make some coffee and I'll show you guys what I packed for my lunch because I didn't show it as I was cooking. It was just too hectic earlier. I'll show you guys before I leave. I'm too tired to talk, so I'm going to speed this up. I got my coffee going and I'm gonna do 10 ounces today because I usually do eight but I think 10 might help me just a little bit better what I'm packing in my lunch and it might seem like a lot but when you I feel like when you pack tacos you need more things so it just it just seems like a lot but I got sour cream, lettuce, chips, um, I have grapes, I have these two good smoothies. I usually get, I don't know what they're called, but they're the other smoothies in like this type of drink. Um, but I think these were a little bit better, like the contents were a little bit better. This says 10 grams of protein, it's only 70 calories. I think the other one that I get was like 160 calories. I love having these right before I get report in the morning or like after I get report at night before I do like my assessments and medication and stuff. And then I have carrots and ranch. I have two Slim Jims and then I have a protein bar, which these ones is the best kind, the chocolate chip cookie dough. And then I have two things of string cheese and a Mountain Dew because you gotta have that caffeine in the middle of the night. In this pink container, I have my chicken with cheese and then like jalapenos on the top. So that's pretty much. And then just in case I need like a little sweet treat after, I got this. I think it's like only one of them in here or two of them. So it's only 100 calories. So that's my lunch. Um, it seems like a lot, but like I said, I'm there for 12 hours. I don't ever know how hungry I'm going to be during those 12 hours. So I always just bring more. And then if I obviously don't eat it, I'll just bring it back home. Back there tomorrow, take whatever I don't eat. So that's the plan. So I'm not going to bring my camera, but I am going to be on my way to work. And I will talk to you guys when I get to work. Hey guys, it's 6.58. I actually got here so quick. <laughs> like I was expecting it to be super crazy because like I said, it's good friday so it's obviously the friday before the holiday and earlier today people was acting crazy on the road so and it took me a long time to get home from where i was at it usually doesn't take me that long and i made a few stops i'm glad i got here a little earlier than usual i guess i usually get here around seven o'clock so it's not too bad um i'm about to sit here just scroll on my phone a little bit <sighs> i don't know i'm kind of nervous i said this earlier that uh it's my first shift off of orientation and i said this in my last video but they don't they don't like ease you in it's like no you might get four couplets or you might get three couplets you might get two admissions you might just get hit with a whole bunch of stuff and that's the scary part but that's nursing and that's life and the only way that you can get through it is if you do it so that's just my mindset and i just have to breathe and it'll be okay and we're gonna get through this shift and then We'll just have one more shift because now I'm part time and part time is two days a week. So I just do my shifts back to back and then I'm out for like five days. <laughs> That's all I got for you guys right now. I will talk to you guys in the morning.
Hey guys, it's 8.03. I'm off work. I'm so tired. Last night's shift was, it was cool. It was fine. I had three patients and then I got an admission at like seven o'clock. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, no. But she was cool though. She had no issues or anything like that. She was like walking and she was pretty cool. So no problems. First shift off orientation check. We're back tonight and then we're off for one day and then we're back Monday we're off Tuesday and we're back Wednesday and then we're off for like eight days so my schedule is pretty much all over the place but honestly I don't mind just kind of like stacking them and then having a nice spread it gives me something to look forward to but I'm gonna go home because I'm so tired talk to you guys a little bit later honestly I like to just go home especially when I know I gotta be back the same day I like to just go home, shower, maybe eat something if I'm feeling up to it and literally go to bed. I get to sleep a little bit longer though because it's Saturday and nobody has anything to do. So I might stay up a little bit longer, kind of like hang out with the kids and stuff. I will talk to you guys when I get home. Okay, so I'm home, I'm showered, did my skincare and everything. Like needed to get in the shower. I need to get in bed as fast as possible but i just made some type of breakfast to hold me over because honestly if i don't eat now i'm not gonna eat until like my lunch time tomorrow so like i wouldn't even have a meal and i'm trying to you know have good protein and just kind of like be intuitive of what i'm eating but i found these jimmy dean like breakfast protein patties or something like that it's like sausage bacon ham cheese so i got two of those and then hash brown hot sauce and ketchup i'm gonna go upstairs i'm gonna relax maybe scroll on tiktok it was my stanley with some fresh hot water so we're gonna go upstairs i washed it make sure you wash your stanleys i'm gonna go upstairs read my book maybe watch some tv just chill snuggle with cj and then go to bed Up at Starbucks, get some Starbies. It's like six. Told her hit his phone. Meet her in the whip, but he ain't go. But he ain't that slow. Say meet him at the store. I'm like, hey guys, it is 6:58, so I am here on time, which is nice. I stopped at Starbucks, got me a coffee and a sandwich, like the ham and Swiss on the baguette, <laughs> because it's so good. And I haven't had anything to eat since I came home earlier. So that's gonna hold me over until about midnight and then I'll have like a little snack or something. And I've, I sound so, and it feels so congested and I don't know why, like, I don't know if it's allergies. I don't know why, but I hope this shift is gonna be good. I hope it goes by so freaking fast. <laughs> but there is one thing that I do wanna talk about. And I don't know where the disconnect is between nurses and nursing assistants and secretaries and just other people on the floor. But just a heads up, like, don't be that nursing assistant that doesn't do what the nurse asks. Like, I've been a nursing assistant before. I've been a nurse tech before. I'm pretty sure every nurse on any of these floors in the hospital that you're working with has been a nursing assistant before, has been a nurse tech before. And I get it. You know, you have more patients than the nurse, but you're also doing less work than the nurse. The nurse has huge responsibilities and one of our jobs and in our job title is to delegate so case scenario if 
I tell my nursing assistant, and honestly, you need two people to pull out a Foley. The patient hasn't gotten up yet. You need two people because you don't know how stable this patient is with walking to the bathroom or whatever. So if I'm telling you, hey, this patient has a Foley, we're about to get ready to take this Foley out. She hasn't walked yet. I need your help. You should say, okay, I get it. You might have things to do and we can work around, you know, compromise and work around each other's schedule. It's not drop everything that you're doing right now to come and help me with my patient. No, it's just, this is something that I need you to know that you have to, that we have to accomplish because at the end of the day, if I don't take this patient's Foley out, no, it's not life or death, but you want the patient to be as comfortable as possible also. And the patient has had the Foley in for about eight to 12 hours. So if they're producing enough urine and they can move and fill their legs, they can walk to the bathroom and get the Foley out. And I'm the type of person I would just do it myself. Like if we didn't need a second person, I'll just do it myself. I wouldn't even go and ask anybody. I, I literally would just go and do it myself. Like I'm the type of nurse that don't even ask the nursing assistant to bring in water. I'll bring in water myself. Call me on my phone. I'll bring in water because nine times out of 10, they're going to want the nurse in there anyway. So sad. And on my floor, we have a secretary, we have a nursing assistant, and then we have obviously the nurses, the doctors, whatever. The patient's as a nurse, we put our number on the board, our name and our number to our direct phone. Not all patients look at that. They do have a call light button on their bed, which is much easier because with calling our personal number, they have to call it from, I think they can call it from their cell phone or they can call it from the phone that's in the room. Easier to press that red light on the call light button because it goes to the secretary desk okay secretary does say hey you know how are you you okay they'll say no i need my nurse no i need water no i need this no i need that the secretary can then either page the nursing assistant or the nurse and say hey the patient depending on what the patient needs the patient needs medicine okay cool i'll page the nurse the patient needs water okay cool i'll page the nursing assistant because just in the scope of practice it's just like water doesn't compare to medicine you know like a nursing assistant cannot administer medications but they can damn well give ice water secretaries don't even page the nursing assistants for anything they'll just page the nurse which is fine like i said say your patient needs water secretary tells the nursing assistant the nursing assistant goes and get the water goes to the patient's room they say oh can you get my nurse so it's like at the end of the day, the nurse is going to have to go in there anyway, because it might be something that a nurse has to do. You know, maybe they say, hey, I need water. Then like, oh, I'm not. And then you ask them about their pain. And they're like, you know what? I am feeling a little crampy. Can I get some pain med? They're like, cool. Boom. Let me go get you some meds. So you kind of knocked, you know, knocked out asking them about their pain, seeing what's going on about their bleeding, checking on, the, you know, having eyes on the baby. Like you're kind of doing your own little focus mini mini focused assessment still while giving them ice water and giving them pain meds and stuff like that i just go and get my patients ice water or whatever they need oh they need crackers oh they need snacks or they need pads they need diapers they need formula i go and get it even though the nursing assistant can at the end of the day you're probably gonna have to go in there as the nurse and check on them anyway but just give your nurses grace because we're juggling a lot of things. Um, you gotta remember to do your 24 hour testing. You gotta make sure the baby is feeding, eating and pooping correctly. You gotta make sure you remember which baby is 24 hours old, which baby is 48 hours old, which baby just literally was born two hours ago. So when you're talking to that mom, you know when they say, oh, my baby's not eating enough, you're like, that's normal. Baby just came out two hours ago. Baby is really tired. Baby doesn't eat a lot of food. But then you go when you talk to your mom that's 48 hours old and she's like yeah my baby hasn't ate in like six hours then you're like hmm let's you know do some other interventions so just give your nurses grace because you know it's not that we don't want to give our patients water it's not that we don't want to jump up and go and help our patients for the littlest things like i said water oh i need new socks oh i need the light off or something like that it's not that we don't want to do that it's just we have so many other things that we have to focus on and juggle. I don't know. I just thought about it last night because the girls that have been there longer, you know, there was a little feud between like the secretary, nursing assistant, and the nurses and stuff. And it's just like, you know, if you think my job is so easy, you go to nursing school for three, four years, you study, you take the NCLEX, you pass the NCLEX, you try to get a job and you come work and you see how hard or easy this job is. And there's things that a secretary does 
because they do the birth certificates. They handle all like the newborn screening, which is um, it's called a PKU testing. So they handle that and try to get the pediatricians if they don't have one. They um, contact the state, do things with the state. So there's things that a secretary does that I don't want to do. I don't want to do it. I could probably learn, but I don't want to do it. I went to nursing school, bust my ass, passed my NCLEX, hustled and bustled and tried to get a job pretty much in a field or a unit that I wanted. So I don't know. I deserve it. And I deserve to sit down. You don't have, don't think that you have to stand up. And this is a ramble and it's 10 minutes and I'm so sorry, but I don't usually talk about like the ins and outs of nursing and my job and all that type of stuff, even though I like live it. You know, it's like, who wants to hear your opinion? I don't know. But I was just thinking about it because like I said, every, you know, we were in the break room eating our snacks and the nurses and, you know, they had just a little feud and I didn't really put my input in. I'm just was like, yeah, you know, I mean, I kind of was like, I don't even understand like what's going on. But at the end of the day, everybody's job is important and everybody's job is needed to run the unit, to make sure the patients are safe, to make sure we're doing what we're supposed to do. And I'm pretty sure that nurse can sit down for five minutes. Don't think as a nurse that you cannot sit down for five minutes. Don't think that you can't go to the bathroom. Don't think that you can't get water. Don't think that you can't take a 10, 15 minute, 30 minute lunch. You're obligated for a 30 minute uninterrupted. Now, if it's interrupted or uninterrupted, you know, that's the call of the unit that night or that day. But you are, you can eat. Don't tell anybody you can't eat. Don't tell anybody you can't drink water. Like those things are important. You can't not take care of yourself because then you can't take care of your patients. And then don't get me started on that day shift and night shift nurse feud. I'll talk about that maybe later in my next video <laughs> because this is already 11 minutes. But I'm going to sit here at 710. Um, I'm going to go in in about 10 minutes and it's going to be a good shift. And yeah, I really did not want to come today because I was so tired. But I'm off tomorrow and I can hang out with the fam bam. So I'm excited. So, I will talk to you guys in the morning. Let him run his move. Do what he gon' do. Cause this the plot. Put him in a pot. Let it cook like stew. I grab my clock. It been do a lot. But it's this you like new. We at the top. Yeah, we love the lot. But that's just how it go. But check the scope. If y'all lose one more, that's 6 to 24. Let me focus. Hey guys, it's 8 o'clock. I'm in my car. Happy Easter. I gotta go home, shower, make their Easter baskets. Because I was supposed to do that yesterday. But obviously I didn't because I had to sleep. <laughs> um, so I'm so excited to just like hang out with the family. Just have the next day off. Chef was really good. My patients were really good. Had no admissions. Um, we were pretty well staffed. Had to do just 24 hour testing on a baby. I had pretty much had a baby for a lot of the night. The mom was just in like a lot of pain. So if I can take the baby out, I will take the baby out. You just have to do a lot of time management. Um, but I had a really sweet patient. She was very anxious, um, very just worried about her little boo boo, her little baby. But but he was okay and he was healthy. She just was really anxious and she just thoroughly like was thankful that I was doing my job. And I just kept telling her like. I'm just doing my job and I just love my job. And she was like, I can tell. And she was like, can I tip you? Can I give you money? I'm like, no, please. Like, I'm literally just doing my job. I'm here to help you, to make you feel okay, to make you feel comfortable. Even it doesn't matter. And I think I said this like in my vlogs, like way, way back that it doesn't matter if it's your first baby, your fourth baby, your second baby, whatever baby, after, you know, your rainbow baby, it really doesn't matter. It's all new and it's all brand new. And this wasn't her first baby, but you can just tell like she was just just an anxious person. So, yeah, I was just very glad to help her because I know, like I said, I know how that anxiety kicks in and you're tired. You haven't slept in two days. You know, you're there by yourself, like a whole bunch of factors. And so um, it's nice to have a nurse, you know, to be there. I wanted to make her feel comfortable with her having the baby because when they go home, I'm not there. I would love to come to everybody's house after and check up on the baby and just be with the baby and snuggle and feed. I am a baby magnet and I love babies so freaking much. That's why I am in this profession and I took this job. And so it shows because I'm doing my job very well and the patients can see that because I love my job. A little TED talk for today. Like I said, happy Easter. I'm on my way home. I'm so tired. So I'm going to hurry up and make these Easter baskets really quickly. Obviously, you guys know I don't like to waste the day away. 
especially because I have to be back on tomorrow night. So I want to make use of my off day. So I'll probably just get a couple hours of sleep, which is fine. And then we're going to hang out with the fam, family dinner. Um, we're going to go to some other fam house. I'm going to try to film a little bit like montage stuff. I don't want to like pull my camera out and talk, but I'm going to try to film a little bit of montage stuff, like montage stuff with my family. So you guys can see my family. I don't know. Anyways, I'm in a good mood because I had a good shift and I'm off and I'm just so excited to just be in my bed. So I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Be a bother if you 